talking about this first game here, you know, you have Alabama and Cincinnati. Cincinnati coming in, obviously the first non-Power 5 conference team to play in the playoff. They made history already, and they're going to look to continue, you know, with this history. And the way they play, I mean, look, they've blow out, blown out a lot of teams in their conference. They've blown out teams that, you know, you're just saying the way they win, it's like, okay, you know, this is a, a playoff team. You're just looking at their their points per game compared to points allowed. They only give up 16 points. They score 39. So, I mean, look, that point differential is just crazy. Definitely happy for Desmond Ritter, uh, you know, and, and those guys. That defense is really, really good. But as you said, Alabama's coming in angry. They're looking for something to prove, which is just crazy because they won the national championship in just, you know, easy fashion last year. I mean, it was just easy for them. And now this year they're like, okay, we want to win it again and we want to prove something. To me, it's just mind-boggling. Oh, yeah. I mean, Alabama's a great team. Like you said, they won the championship last year. But every year they're always tr trying to get better. <laughs> they're always trying to get better. And I love Cincinnati this year. What a story they had. I mean, they've they've been a great team this year. There's no doubt that they deserve to be in the, in the top four. I just feel like Alabama's just – right now they're <laughs> really hot and they're really good, and I just don't see how Cincinnati could really do enough to really win against them. I told you guys off air. Like I'm rooting for Cincinnati. Yeah. I want them to to get into the championship to to win something. It'd be so awesome. But <laughs> the back of my mind just tells me it's Alabama. And it, it, how do you how do you bet against Alabama? It's the whole been here, done that. And their their offense is so good. Uh, I I will be interested to see how their defense holds up against Cincinnati because I think it really is a battle of two pretty yeah. good offenses and I, I'd also like to see again Cincinnati's defense versus the Alabama offense I think that's a really huge test for them right Cincinnati held up against Notre Dame but Alabama is a little bit of a different animal than, than <laughs> Notre Dame so yeah. I I think it, it's gonna be a fun matchup I will wholeheartedly be rooting for Cincinnati but I'm, I'm very worried that their season might come to an end yeah it's, it's it's one of those things where I think if Alabama doesn't win against Georgia and then Cincinnati probably would them play Michigan. I think Cincinnati would beat Michigan, to be honest. I, I think they're the third best team. I just think that, you know, th th they they get probably one of the worst matchups that, you know, when you play hot Nick Saban, it's so, so hard to win. It's almost unfair. And, you know, obviously you look at this Alabama offense, it's just crazy. I mean, obviously you have Bryce Young and he's doing what he's doing, then receiving, as I said, Williams, who I'd love to see in the black and gold next year. John Mechie, another guy who uh, he's not going to play in the game, I don't think, but uh, I think he got hurt. But still, look, 2,000-yard two, 2, receivers there, and then rushing the ball. I mean, <laughs> right now you have a 1,000-yard rusher in Brian Robinson. So, look, they do it at all facets of the game. The offensive line is, as always, one of the best in college football i just i i don't see the cincinnati defense which is probably gonna have to come up big because if there is a you know a shootout between alabama and cincinnati i'm taking the heisman trophy yeah. winner and yeah and Bryce also Young. two receivers who have over a thousand yards and then on top of that their running back robinson is over a thousand yards like yeah it's gonna be hard for that cincinnati defense to stop alabama yeah exactly i i think that, that that's gonna be you know uh, you know, just one of these games where I think it'll be closer than maybe like a last year where Alabama just runs through everybody and they ran through Notre Dame, I believe, last year. But, I mean, even this Alabama defense, a lot of people don't talk about him, but he actually has more sacks than Aiden Hutchinson. And that's Will Anderson, uh, you know, the linebacker, outside linebacker. I mean, 15 and a half sacks. And, you know, a lot of people think, like, this guy's better than Aiden Hutchinson, who's obviously been getting all the limelight, the Heisman Trophy nominee. And this, this guy, look, 91 tackles, 15 and a half sacks is pretty, pretty good. And, you know, he had more tackles for loss, I believe, than Hodgson as well. So, again, when you're looking at this defense, it's still a really good defense, too. It's not just the offense. To me, I, 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 I think we're setting up, and we're going to talk about the other game with Michigan and Georgia, but I think we're going to set up for this, you know, three-game set between Georgia and Alabama, and that's going to be so fun to watch. But, look, I first want to talk about this Georgia game here, Georgia-Michigan. Lou, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I I like Michigan again. I think they're they're a cool story. This is their first time in the college football playoff since that in what in eight years, or whatever. So they're they're a fun story. But I don't see Georgia losing this game. I just think they're a completely better team. I think even though they lost to Alabama, they're hungry. They're going to come out. They're going to beat Michigan. And I think you're going to get that. What you hinted at that Georgia Alabama football championship is kind of what you know the stars are aligning for. It yeah. seems like that's kind of how they set up the seating as they're trying to set up that matchup, <laughs> yeah. but. I like much Michigan. I like uh, Aiden Hutchinson. I love that kid, but uh, he's probably gonna be the number one overall pick. Yeah. But I don't know if he's gonna be enough to take. Georgia was the number one team in the nation for a while, yeah. most of this year. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I love Hutchinson, too, this year. I mean, I obviously Bryce Young deserved the Heisman, but as a number two option, Hutchinson was right there, and he wasn't far behind. And I I feel like Georgia's too good of a team to beat Michigan. I mean, Michigan had some great wins this year. I mean, Ohio State, 10-2, and two, they lost to Michigan. Yeah. I mean, they did lose to Michigan State in a, in a close game, only lost by four. But I just feel like Georgia's too good to uh, to beat them, and I think I think that the stars are aligning, like you said, Lou, that it's just going to end up being another Georgia Alabama rematch. Which I mean would be, I think, legendary. To be honest. I mean, nobody's to, complaining. So to see if, to see if you know, uh, 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 Kirby, Kirby Smart can really exercise his demons against against Nick Saban is going to be, you know, very very interesting. And I, I I think that when you look at, you know, that matchup between you know Georgia and Michigan. I just feel like this Michigan offense is not going to be able to get it done. And I think at the end of the day, that's what's going to come down to. Hutchinson going to probably be the number one overall pick. His explosiveness is just crazy. I, the, the video that's going around where he just basically bull rushes the, I think believe it was against Ohio State, you know, the, the left tackle. It was, I mean, like that's something that's, that's like Jadavion Clowney, what he was doing in college, you know, against Michigan at, at uh, South Carolina. Obviously didn't pan out, you know, the way maybe Clowney would want to his NFL career. But Hutchinson looks like a special, special player. I just don't think it's going to be enough to to beat a Georgia team that look was the number one team for a long time. This seems like their apex. You know, they it seems Georgia's a team that not like Alabama. They're good every year. They're like good every four years. Like this is this groups of of players is apex. And you know, look, they should get another shot at Nick Saban, and that would be just a crazy game. Uh, and I, I frankly would love to see it because honestly, I think if if it came down to Georgia or Bama, I think I would go Georgia. I think they're going to be. It's hard. It's, it's hard to beat a team in like the matter of what three weeks, four weeks. It's hard to beat a team twice. Uh, I would love to see a bounce back win. I also think you know Georgia's beaten teams a lot more handily than Alabama has. Alabama has a lot closer games. And Alabama, I think, has played some tougher opponents down the stretch, but like Georgia took care of Auburn pretty handily. And so I think you know you look at that Alabama Auburn game, and it, it's a great game. It's exciting, and it it provided that Heisman moment for Bryce Young. But I think it also showed that Alabama is a human team. They can be beat. If Auburn can go out there and almost knock off Alabama, I think you have to think that if you're Georgia or even if you're is Cincinnati going back to that matchup, like this is a team that if you play them the right way, if you can find a way to neutralize Bryce Young, you can beat them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I it's so hard to beat a good team twice, especially yeah. when you're a good team yourself. We've seen it throughout all sports throughout over the years and I feel like it's going to be really hard for Alabama to beat a really good Georgia team twice, especially with their balanced attack. I'm looking at the stats right now. They have two rushers with over 500 yards and receivers who have hundreds, like between 400 to 700 yards each. And I feel like they have a really good balanced attack that could that could really attack Alabama's defense. Yeah, it, it just seems unlikely. I don't know Georgia. I mean, look, I. I, I think I just want to don't want to see Alabama win again. I mean, but Nick Saban, I mean, you knew he was angry when I think, you know, I forgot where he said it to, but he said, like, you know, our fans are getting so spoiled that it doesn't even matter if we win. We have to win by, like, double digits or by 20 points for it to, like, be a success for them. He's like, why can't just winning be a success? And, like, after that, he has been just, I mean, like, this team is just seems like it's clicked. And, you know, look, if this is what Alabama's rebuilding year looks like, I mean, like, I mean, hats off to Nick Saban. That's all I can say. I mean, it's that that's the scary thing about you know going and saying that Georgia's going to win is that it's Nick Saban and it's Alabama and it's yeah. right they've won three in the three championships in the past five years is it or it's some it's something crazy like that and they're just they're always around even right even in the rebuilding year they're now the number one seed so it's it's tough to bet against Nick Saban I want to because I like you said I don't want to see Alabama win I think it's more fun when other teams get in the mix but. It, I think it's if we get this Bama Georgia chip, I think it's going to be it's going to be some really fun competitive football. That's for sure. Oh, absolutely! I think it's going to be a great game. I mean, feels like every year Alabama's in it, and you know, it's like the Patriots of the two thousands and two thousand tens. It's just every year they're in it, and you know, as much as you might not like it, you just got to accept it. And even a down year for them this year still ends up being the number one seed and likely the champion. It's it's tough to it's tough to bet against Alabama in I this mean, game. It's better than the than, than those Patriots. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Like being dom that dominant is so so hard. I yeah. Mean, hats off to, to to Nick Saban what he's done with that. I mean, everyone knows it, and it's just like I mean, you'll probably never see that type of dominance again. It's just 